it's a cliche, but you have to eat big to get big. I mean, it's, it's a simple fact. Every meal counts. If you think you're drinking enough water throughout the day, you're probably not. You should probably drink more. Um, I'm getting in probably just over a little bit over a gallon and uh, needs to get up to about a gallon and a half because like I'm sweating like crazy. I'm still gonna be doing my morning cardio sessions, still gonna be training, doing these. Uh, like this could be a morning workout or an evening workout with cardio in the morning or a push pull legs in the morning. My uh, meals are uh, a little bit different from everybody else. And the fact that, I don't know, when I was training, I weighed and I measured everything I ate. I had a scale. So every meal, I weighed out like whatever, I was eating 14, 16 ounces or whatever. My, my cars were, were the same thing. I weighed and measured everything, uh, all, all the cars that I ate too. All right, there's that. So post-workout, I would go after things that are quick digesting, quick absorbing into the bloodstream. Amino acids, the building blocks of protein. My favorite part about the morning time is, well, next to train, of course, is eating. I love to eat. And you know, the most important part about putting size on is you gotta eat big to get big. Instead of protein, I would use amino acids and carbohydrate powders and then go home and eat a whole meal of food within 45 minutes after my workout. So that's just how I've always done things. Still to this day, I do not drink uh, protein powders post-workout, ever. So maybe I'm like the fucking genetic anomaly that has never had protein <laughs> post-workout. Bro, no, and, 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 <laughs> fucking. I always looked at it as, uh, why stress your body out in a way that wouldn't be beneficial? And by putting protein, whey protein into it, it would stress my, my digestive system out. So I just fucking wouldn't do it. And I found amino acids and carbohydrate powder. Full shaker. After this, I'll get cleaned up, head home, and I'll eat a meal within the next hour. With it being arm day today, rather than like a leg day or a back day or chest day, try to go a little bit less carbs um, before training. Just don't really need it. But I, the only thing I didn't do was count calories. All I counted was protein and carbs. So I would take in 600 grams of protein a day with shakes and uh, maybe about 100, 100 grams of carbs. And it was the hardest diet in the world. <laughs> so meal one, English muffin, I had two of them. So 36 grams of carbs per muffin and 36 times two, so it'd be 72. So let's say 75 grams of carbs or 70 plus uh, 40, 30. Tilapia, asparagus, any rice? Any rice. Any rice, welcome. How much rice? 70. 70 grams. You can have a list of foods you need to eat, but you have to stay disciplined with, you know, prepping the food, making sure it's ready to go, uh, as well as taking the time to actually eat it. to cook chicken breast. I don't have time to cook my meat. If you don't have the time, you have to figure out that there's tools out there that can make the time for you. When looking at nutrient timing, like big picture, we just need to make sure we consume enough total protein, carbohydrates, and fats for the day. Got the best bodybuilders and the best eaters. That is pretty true. 
when you're trying to get in the best shape possible, okay, and when you look at people who have the greatest amount of success in doing so, there's two things, okay, that those people do really, really well. Number one, and this is very obvious, they stay on track. All right? The train does not go off the track. No plan, doesn't matter how perfect it is, if you're not able to follow it, if you're not able to remain compliant with it, it's useless. The second thing they do is they maintain control. What do I mean by that? When you're trying to get in shape, right, you're gonna sit down and you're gonna put together a nutritional strategy, you're gonna put together a training regimen, chances are there's a plan for cardio, Right, and you want to use it all in concert, you're also probably going to make certain lifestyle adjustments. You're probably not going to be out partying. You're going to go to bed at a certain time. You're going to drink X amount of water each day. Those are all things that you're doing to try to control right, your daily circumstances because you believe that it's going to bring you closer to your goal fast and efficiently. Maybe, like I said, if I was training legs like yesterday, I would have a little bit more carbs before the workout. But, um... Quality nutrition was a part of my daily existence as it relates to training for competition on season and off season. Tell them out. Real life, real, you know, in the trenches bodybuilding means that you have to be inventive. You have to be a, a problem solver. You have to be able to troubleshoot, you know, because at the end of the day, it's your responsibility to stay on, on target with your goal. Your goals, your dreams are important to you. Your mother may love you. But she doesn't care whether or not your arms are 24 inches. She's still going to love you. Obviously, Ace. But your dream of having your arms 20, over 20 inches is your dream. So it's up to you to cultivate that, to protect it, to nurture it. So it's your responsibility to come up with ways to find out how you can eat every two and a half hours without incident.